Welcome to uh, another video in the series on how to use the classroom tools and websites we'll be using. This one is Introduction to Edmodo and Overview. When you log into Edmodo as a student, you have the login screen where you put in your username and password that you've created. It takes you to the home screen right off the bat. If you take a look, this uh, button will take you to your main Edmodo feed. I set up an account for my daughter so I can see how the student version of Edmodo looks. On the left hand side of the screen underneath the this is your home button it takes you to the main Edmodo screen that you have. You have a room for your picture. Make sure it's school appropriate. And then you have this section here that has the most current posts in your groups that you belong to. You scroll down and filter by direct messages, click on assignments, filter by teachers. Now I haven't made any direct posts uh, to my daughter's page. And then you can also see uh, more filters, any posts you've made, any alerts that are up in your classroom, uh, any feeds that have been pushed forward to you, polls, quizzes, and right below the screen is recent replies. What this lets you do is, as the year goes on, you'll have more and more information in this main feed, and you'll be able to skim through everything and make it less cluttered. Any groups you belong to will be listed here under the left under um, groups. Now, this group style sandbox is an experimental group I set up so I can um, fiddle around with things and not mess up students' main feeds. If you would like to join another group with another teacher you must have the code you click on join and you just type in whatever the code the teacher gives you um, type that in here hit join and you'll be a member of their online classroom now the main feed of Edmodo is in the center of the screen the most current information is posted at the top. Older posts filtered down through uh, the page and you will have to click more posts to see the older information. Over here on the right you have notifications. You can close this box or open it. It's a good way to see what's new. Uh, from the last time you've logged in, anything new that has been posted in the class will show up. Um, any direct messages from your teachers, any quizzes, any assignments, any grades that have been posted will show up under notifications. Tagging is a way of organizing posts. I'll get into that later. And over on the right you have a parent code which you give to your parents so they could join Edmodo and see just your posts. You have different apps that are available to classes. You have a class calendar keep track of when assignments are due. And you can check your grades for assignments. My computer's running a little bit slow. And then you have a library. I would suggest using this library. It's called a backpack. Um, and kids in the past so it reminds them of Dora the Explorer, which my daughter really likes that cartoon, so it kind of reminds me of that too. Add to backpack, you can upload files from your computer home into Edmodo, so when you come into school, Edmodo isn't blocked, you can access um, any files you need. This allows you to get move documents from home, uh, documents, PowerPoints, things of that nature, links you need from home to school without getting blocked by the filter because email usually is blocked in score at least it should be hit the Edmodo button on the left and slowly but surely since my computer is a little bit bogged down right now it will take us back to my home screen in Edmodo the home button which does anything you have a profile button which shows what, what people can see and you have an account button which lets you find help, log out of Edmodo, 
and settings. When using school computers, make sure you log out every time. Don't just close the browser window or uh, shut down the iPod if you're using the iPod or the iPads because you will stay logged into Edmodo and people can access your information. And that's not good. This is just a brief overview of the Edmodo screen and we'll get into more specifics uh, in more videos coming up. I hope you found this helpful. If you have questions, feel free to email me at dsalvucci, S A L V C C I, at nbsd.k12.pa.us. Thank you.